Morning, everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jenny Lee. And I'm James Irby. Fox 7 has obtained exclusive video of Prakashanad Saraswati in Central Texas tonight. He is the world-renowned Hindu saint accused of indecency with a child. His mugshot just came in from Hayes County. Fox 7's Foti Kalurgis is live at the Hindu temple that he helped build. Foti. Hey, James, and we're going to get straight to that exclusive video right now. Here it is. This is 79-year-old Prakashanand Saraswati, also known as Swami J, pulling up and walking into the temple here to give a spiritual speech and prayer. Many people heard the news and were not expecting him to make his, his scheduled appearance, but you can see they're all welcoming him, welcoming him with open arms. And all day today, his followers have been saying the accusations of indecency have no basis on the man they say is a divine being. It's an opportunity, I guess, to connect. For Hindus like Sunita Law, it kind of feels like you belong. The Barsanadam Center in Hayes County is like a home away from home, a spiritual place where culture and religion become one. I feel the energy here, the vibration here, and I kind of call it like my um, fuel tank. I come here to fuel and refuel. The temple was built in 1990 by Prakashan on Suraswati, or better known as Swami G, a world-renowned living Hindu saint. I personally have uh, had my life changed from Swami G. Rohit Sharma traveled all the way from New York to see Swami G in person. Swami G was scheduled to lead in prayer at the end of the Barsana Dam's 12th annual open house festival. But Thursday, Swami G was arrested and charged with having inappropriate contact with two children and spent the day being extradited from Virginia back to Hayes County. It's baseless. It's totally baseless. Uh, we don't even give a crap. But this Hayes County indictment paints a different picture of the saint. It accuses Swami G of engaging in sexual contact several times with two underage girls over a 10-month period between 1993 and 1996. His followers say, no way. Take, take 15 years to come out. That seems suspicious to me. It just hurts that people think people actually have, you know, can think of injuring a person of such an extraordinary decency in that way. Ritu Agrawal says Swami G is a divine man who she knows personally. She says he's spent his life traveling around the world, building three temples in India and working on several projects here in the United States at the same time being accessible to his followers. I know Swamiji, I know, I feel him in my heart, and I know that it just uh, cannot be true. And once again, we're going to show you a mugshot that we have that came in from Hayes County Jail. This is Swami G. He was booked into the Hayes County Jail today. All day today, he was extradited to Hayes County. With federal marshals alongside him, Swami G posted a $1 million bond. Reporting live in Hayes County tonight, Foti Kalurgis, Fox 7 News Edge. Thank you, Foti.